So we're going to look at how to change a recurring decimal into a fraction. So we're going to start off by looking at how a normal decimal um, would be turned into a fraction and then work from there. So starting off with 0 0.12, uh, you might be aware that to change this into a fraction it's going to look like this, 12 hundredths. And that the 12 in the numerator comes from the 1 and 2 in the decimal. Um, now the 100 is also uh, related to the decimal because the the fact that it actually ends in two zeros is sometimes also linked to the fact that there are two digits after the decimal point. Uh, there are other ways that you can explain why it's a hundred as well, um, looking at it in terms of hundredths and so on, um, but you should be familiar with some sort of pattern that links the two. And then the final step is always to simplify, so in this case you get three twenty-fifths. Now the recurring decimal will often look like this, okay, you will have, so I've got 0 0.12 again, but you've got these two little dots above the one and the two. Sometimes there's one dot, sometimes there's two. Uh, and what that means is that there's a repeating pattern. So in this case, um, there's a series of one, two, one, two, one, two going on forever. And the trick is to change this into its fraction. Uh, now you might not think it necessarily has a fraction, but it does. Um, and there's a way in which to get there using some algebra. So how we do this? Well, that's what the next part's going to go on to. So what we're going to do is start off by using a bit of algebra and say that let the 0 0.121212 recurring um, be x. Okay, let it stand for that. And what we're going to do is sort of similar to what you already know about changing the decimal 0 0.12 into a fraction. If we look at the 1, 2 here, like we would have done before, we would think hundreds. Okay, but what we're going to do is say, well, actually, let's multiply this number by 100, which is going to give us 100x. And the number then that that's going to equal is going to be 12.121212, and so on. Um, this actually will come in very handy in a moment, because it's actually going to help us to get to the fraction quite quickly. Um, what we're going to do now is to subtract the x from the 100x. And this will leave us with a small equation to solve at the end. So the x from the 100x leaves 99x. Okay, And what will happen on the other side is because you'll notice that the 1s and the 2s all line up, is that this whole block is going to disappear. The 2s and the 1s are all going to cancel out when we subtract, and that's just going to leave us with a nice whole number of 12. So we get 99x equals 12. This can then be turned into its fraction quite simply by dividing both sides by 99 and give us the fraction 12 99ths, uh, which then will simplify down to 4 33rds. Now, you might actually start to find that there are quicker ways of getting this fraction rather than going through that method, and you'll actually start to pick up some uh, pacey ways of getting there by noticing the denominator is going to be 9, 99, 999, something like that, and then looking to simplify by finding your factors. But until you get practice to that, you might want to sort of stick to this method, and once you start to realize that, then you won't need it anymore. Hopefully you found that useful as a quick guide as to how this is done, and uh, thank you very much.